if not everyone was happy to see what kind of character Scylla was, falling in love and seducing our heroine, but eh, they were kind of okay with it. Mm -hmm. I, I really, I really love that the Rael character didn't just let Scylla off the bat. Like there was some big things there. She left her to die in the cell. Like it's not no. like this was an easy win for the two of them. I think because of that, I find that this relationship is so genuine because it's not just, oh, I fell for you. Yeah. And yeah, and everything was dreamy and you're impeccable, like you're a perfect person, but rather that we saw all the, the dirt. Oh, there's yeah. so much gray area explored with this dynamic. But that's something I think that I really cherish deeply and I've applied to my personal relationships. You know, where's the push, where's the pull? Found Scylla and Rael to be an obvious vehicle, playfulness of yin and yang, or masculine and feminine. That sort of lightness in the darkness. Balance, challenge, honor, respect. It's taught me so much about myself. I think it's really provided a platform for, for empathy that I didn't prior have. Just having to be put in the mindset. These characters, a lot of the decisions that were made, I didn't personally agree with or understand. That's the challenge of, of our work, is using our characters as a vessel to understand and bringing that into honest storytelling.